Hi folks, this is Coach McCurry from BaseballByTheYard.com. Thanks for stopping by today for today's video tip. Now today's video tip is for pitchers and it's really not mechanical, it's more of a mindset thing that particularly older kids need to get in the habit of doing. Now, one of the challenges we have is teaching kids to pitch is that oftentimes kids are so focused on their mechanics, so focused on throwing strikes, that they become unaware of what's going on around them. And of course, as you get older, pitchers have a lot more responsibilities. It's getting off the mound the field bunts, it's covering first base, it's, it's a whole bunch of other things, communication with infield, uh, infielders and so forth. And, but one of the things I wanna focus on today is a having a pickoff mindset okay and as I said one of the problems is sometimes pitchers get so focused on throwing the ball to the catcher that they forget to take advantage of sometimes some uh, some opportunities to get some easy outs and I've always been a huge fan of pickoffs because it allows the pitcher to get an out without having to throw a pitch and I think a lot of pitchers miss a lot of opportunities and it starts with a pickoff mindset okay now what you'll see on tv many times if a pitcher does have a strong pitcher or a pickoff mindset is every time they get the ball back from the catcher when they are coming back towards the mound they are looking back okay they're looking back at the shortstop they're looking back at the second baseman and they're trying to read their body language sometimes the shortstops and the second baseman will kind of give them some signals like hey Hey, watch this guy, he's taking a big lead or something like that. Basically, you're always looking around for an opportunity so that when the pitcher does get on the mound and come set and he's looking back, he's already in that pickoff mindset of, hey, I might have an opportunity here. So I know that's difficult for a lot of pitchers because again, they're so focused on sowing strikes and that's great, but you also have to make sure throwing strikes does not start until you begin your delivery. There's a lot of other things you have to pay attention to. In this case, maybe you pick off the third, pick off the second base, pick off the first, inward turn, a spin move, all kinds of different things that you can do. And so look for those opportunities. As I said before, it's always great when you can get an out without having to throw a pitch. But it all starts with having a strong pickoff mindset. All right, folks, so that's your tip of the day. I'm Coach McCreary from BaseballByTheYard.com signing off. Thanks again for watching, everybody.